we're getting a gamma one and gamma two a free to play gamma one and gamma two to be exact uh, as part of this fourth installment or third installment on global for this superhero campaign pretty interesting choice seeing as we just received in october at the end of october a summonable gamma one and gamma two but as you can see here we have some growth missions here it says blue caped android gamma two can be recruited by completing certain missions so i'll be going over that once those details come out it says right here for more details please kindly check out the in-game announcement but i actually checked in game there's no in-game announcement just yet um i'm pretty sure that might drop sometime tonight either right before the live stream or maybe right after the live stream so we'll see also the movie collaboration login bonus will get 70 dragon stones and recruit ssr red caped android gamma one upon the first login yeah it's just it's, it's, it's an interesting choice it really is an interesting choice why they would choose the gammas for free to play units Let, let's be honest there's like i mean we've got we've got some other free to play choices that i they could have gone with maybe dr hito magenta krillin 18 because i i really don't think krillin or 18 would be worthy as summonable units or even as banner units i, I feel like the, the krillin 18 from the movie could definitely be worthy free to play units for sure yeah i mean you've got a few other choices there that i feel like would have been a little bit different maybe even a little bit better because we do have summonable gammas already but let's hope these gammas are decent free to play units for those of you who did not get to pull gamma one and two maybe there they'll be just be miniature kits compared to the other gammas but nonetheless getting 70 dragon stones upon the first login that's awesome that's absolutely fantastic i i do enjoy that part a lot as some of you will probably enjoy the same as me or even more so 70 dragon stones we will take that and then there's a new promotional video they're doing one every single day apparently because in the last video that I made for the other promotional videos with the uh, the pan handing the water and also the pan jumping on Gohan, there's letters at the end of those. One was B and one was E. So they're spelling letters at the end of these promotional videos as a code to something. I'm not completely sure what it's going to be, but let's go ahead and take a look at this video. Okay, so it's showing the, the free-to-play gammas and their arts. Okay, okay. A, so B-E-A. I wonder what that's going to spell. Can y'all guess? Can y'all guess what that's going to spell? <laughs> okay, all right. I do, so... I do enjoy these little promotional videos um, promoting the fourth campaign. It's actually pretty cool. It's very subtle, but very welcomed. And I feel like they're doing a great job at caring for such a celebration because it is very special. Number one, it's this Dragon Ball Super superhero movie it's related. So it's about that, something that is new, something that is fresh, and we haven't had any real new content for dokkan battle until now obviously we get new characters and stuff like that but when, when i say new content i mean like content that is about something that is related to the anime in any way that is completely fresh and new uh, so dragon ball super superhero is completely fresh and new we're getting this right now top of that the fact that it's once again happening on jp and global at the same time it's just very very special to to get this kind of stuff and to be able to celebrate it alongside each other alongside both versions and they're really i feel like they're doing a great job at really promoting this really making it sort of special but let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and i'll catch y'all in the next one